what I do request or ask is for peace. Julia Desiderio, one of our RCIA candidates who has recently received in a full communion with the Catholic Church on the mm -hmm. Feast of Corpus Christi this past June. So I'd love to introduce everyone who's watching to her. And first question would be, well, tell us a little bit about yourself. I mean, what were you doing today? I actually have a lot going on right now. Great things. So it's been very positive and I would like to say my um, practicing my faith every day and just being grateful. I think that especially during this time, I think it's really important yeah. to stay positive. Yeah. What was your greatest opportunity for gratitude today? I'm grateful for all my blessings. Um, but most importantly, I think just yesterday, I think I, I had a really good conversation with God that I was praying about, you know, these possibilities about my future that I was, con I've been concerned about, but I also said, you know, I'm gonna just pray about it. And I think this morning I really felt at peace with, you know, I felt that he was going to handle whatever is going to happen. And I, I, I was grateful for that. How did Catholicism get weaved in the fabric of your home? Like what were the ways that your, your parents introduced you to the faith? One thing was attending church and being involved. And I think it was very important for my mom and dad to bring me up as Catholic. Yeah, I mean, everyone comes from a background. Everyone has a story. And your parents are, I think, the primary shapers of that. Yeah. Them and their parents before them who helped shape their own. Mm -hmm. uh, well, what about more recently? It sounds like you've been busy lately racking up the uh, degrees, the certifications, <laughs> um, and starting your, or really getting a start to your career. So walk me through that a little bit. This actually has been a journey for me. When I obtained my bachelor's, I knew I wanted to get my master's. I actually thought about going into law and I said, you know, I was working for a law firm and in hopes that that's where I wanted to be. But I quickly felt like that wasn't for me. And I think, you know, it's, it's crazy to feel that there's something in your heart that God instills and you kind of have to follow it. And I don't know if that's sort of how I ended up going into accounting, but I realized accounting was where I was most happiest in. So I, when I obtained my master's or I was going to get my master's, it was in accounting. I decided to do accounting instead. And here I was really uh, trying, my end goal was to obtain my license as a CPA. And I, I think definitely it was a challenge, but it's been very rewarding. I mean, having to go through another set of a few years to devote to your studies, I think it's, it's challenging, especially when you're working. But I feel like my faith really helped me get through it. I prayed so much. <laughs> it was so stressful, but I think my faith really helped me. That's a great gift that you have to give is uh, yourself in return for mm -hmm. the faith that I guess St. Thomas and other institutions and people like your parents have helped you to gain. Yes. So any big dreams? So your career's kind of come to this point, come to a point where congratulations, you got in your CPA. And, Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you. you're here. Um, dreams for the future. Where's God taking you? Yes. Well, um, I feel you know, obviously there's a lot of unknowns and I feel like I, I just need to trust God on everything. And I think he wants me to continue um, building my faith and sort of even being involved as, in the community more. And that's something that I know he, he has placed in my heart recently. Um, but, you know, with COVID and everything, um, it's been very tough to be involved with the community. Um, but I definitely do feel that is where he wants me next. And, and, I, and not just in my Catholic faith, I think even in my friendships or even my family, sharing the Catholic faith 
I think that's important and really letting him take the lead in everything. Yeah, that's a big dream for the future. <laughs> it's yeah. so hard for us to let go, but COVID has, I mean, one of the positive outcomes has been that we've had to let go of a lot of things that we were holding on to. Yes. I, I mean, you, I'm sure people had plans and, you know, they were interrupted for because of the pandemic. And I think we just need to continue praying on it. And I think he knows that he, something great is going to happen and he's going to just, you know, let us grow from this. So tell me at St. Thomas, was it the sacraments, the availability of mass, the fact that other people there are Catholic and were helping you in your faith? I mean, what was it about St. Thomas that helped pull you through that difficult time? I would say that it was for availability. I mean, the mass was, or the church was available there, and you can attend the mass that they had. Um, but you could also just go into the church and it was very quiet when he went in. It was so quiet and it felt peaceful. And I, that drew me in because my life at that time was so hectic and chaotic. I felt like I needed that because I felt like when I was there, it was just me and God. It was, there was no distractions, no noise. And I felt like um, that's when I really felt like I could pray to him. The still point of the turning world. Yeah. That's lovely. What were your prayers at that time? Um, I did feel a, a lot of anxiety. Um, almost not even trust about my own capabilities, which I know I felt like I had to pray on it a lot. Um, and really just trust God that he has me in the right path. I think I was afraid to fail and, you know, to be graduating or to have graduated with a 4.0. I know that wasn't just me. It, it was my faith. What's your prayer and congratulations. Thank you. What's your prayer when you do have these anxious thoughts and these feelings? Like, I know that there's on the one hand, you want them to go away. Yeah. So that's kind of part of it. But what do you, what prayer do you make? What requests do you ask of God? What I do request or ask is for peace and to keep me calm to, I, and I tell him and I talk to God just freely. I said, I know that I studied. I know I worked hard. I, I know that I will remember everything I'm, that I worked so hard for. Um, to please allow me to retain that information or to not be anxious during my test. And for me, I think that's, that's definitely has helped me. Last question of this segment. <laughs> Let's wrap it up with gratitude. Cause I know that I'm coming from a Jesuit background, studied at Jesuit schools, St. Ignatius was huge. Gratitude was huge. And then that's one way place that I think we really connected in our time together 10 days or so ago when you sat down in my office. Like, is there one moment at which gratitude really helps snuff out that fear? Yes. Oh, definitely. I was actually, after I graduated, I didn't start studying for the CPA exam. My anxiety level even increased even more because I was even more afraid because I felt like I was closer to my goal. <laughs> but um, I think just being grateful, you know, I did end up failing one of them, one test. And I was so devastated. But I felt like gratitude, having so much gratitude of how far God has taken me and being grateful for that opportunity um, I felt like I had to give thanks and I knew that God was going to get me through it. And I think, you know, I felt like there were steps that I felt like he wanted me to take before I finished my goal. And I, I, I felt like I did. I think when things happen, I take it as a sign of, okay, you know, what do I have to do? 
um, show me the way. And I trust God enough to, to show me the way. Yeah, I think this segment could be called Every Step of the Way with Julia Desiderio. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back with part two. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, or comment below.